Hi and welcome back to AWE 2022. I'm here at the Campfire booth and we're looking at the Campfire headset. And I'm looking forward to try out a demo of this um, AR headset for uh, industrial use, right? It's yeah. for industrial use, right? Yeah. Hello. Is, uh, hi, I'm Alex, <laughs> I'm from Campfire and we're uh, building a tool called Campfire. Yes, it makes Campfire sense. Campfire is uh, for holographic collaboration for design and engineering. So people okay. who are building, design things, produce things and making the world a better place can design things better. Okay, so, so, cool. So regardless of where in the world you are, you can just take a headset on and collaborate with others on, on your designs and your models. Okay, cool. Yeah. And and um, tell us about um, this special mat. It's uh, this has this is important, right? This mat. Yeah, this mat uh, provides us with a robust, reliable way of bringing people to the same coordinate space. Okay, that makes so sense. Every headset, every phone, everyone can experience the same thing from uh, its relative position. Right. Yeah. So, like, um, I have an office in uh, Munich, Germany, and yeah. one is in here in, in the yeah. valley, and everyone they, we have. These yeah. mats. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And, and then and this will bring you to the same sort place. Of holodeck. <laughs> okay. Cool. And I know you also have like a like a little cross that you put Correct. on the desk. Yeah. We have a, a, a version that the that's smaller. designed to live on your desk, so exactly. you can have a something like area. this, but on the desk. Yeah. So okay. Cool. So I'm in I'm in Germany and you are in the States and we yeah. both have the device. Oh, okay. And uh, what are we working on together? Uh, on, on CAD on design. Jet, jet engine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. On a jet engine. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Cool. So, um, um, tell us a bit more about the hardware. So this this is um, an AR headset. And I can I can go into it with my glasses. Yeah, yeah. It's designed to work on top of your glasses, so there is a this specific knob to adjust for it. Yeah, it's a it's the widest view you can get. It has a super clear image, uh, perfect color accuracy. Okay. And Even when it's bright. Uh, yeah, we have the VR shield. Ah, that makes sense. Which makes it convertible from AR to, to VR just by that. Okay, cool. A very simple approach, but working perfectly well. Okay, great. And this is the, the kind of VR that uh, is not designed for gaming. It's not yes. designed for entertainment. So you keep your peripheral vision. So you have uh, your spatial awareness. You don't get uh, motion sick. And uh, yeah, it just served the purpose of what VR would be great for for this case. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So tell us a, a bit more about the input method. Uh, for you have you have a this is a phone. Yeah, <laughs> we, we right. Are, like we're, we're using smartphone. Your, your own phone. You can take your, phone. Okay. your own phone. You attach this little device on the back. Oh, this is interesting. Though. Yeah, and it brings it. In, in this, you can see this is the same sensor as on the headset. Ah, right, exactly. Yeah, and the reason why we use phone because it's much easier to use phone than okay. the controllers. Okay, because you, people know how to use their phones. Exactly, and you can expand those interfaces. Ah, and, and you can look at your phone through this because it's AR. Yeah, e even 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 with VR, we have the, the peripheral vision that you can still use your phone. Right. Because. Okay, cool. That's that's really smart. And yeah. and this will give it um, six degrees of freedom tracking. Yes. Super high precision. Okay, I'm looking forward to try it out now. Yeah. And uh, tell me one more question. Yeah. This connects to your computer. Yeah. Right, so um, uh, what do you need to drive it? Like a uh, uh, strong uh, graphics? Any VR ready. Uh, okay, ready. VR ready and you're good. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Okay. okay. Just like we're taking advantage of high end GPUs that would be required for high fidelity visuals that we can do. Great, okay, so now I have asked all my questions and now I'm ready to, to jump in. Yeah. It would be great if you could take over the yeah. yeah. here. Just hold it like this. Yes, yes. I'm going to take off the VR shield for now. So, as you can tell, I'm wearing my, my glasses. Oh, yeah, that's. Okay, that is a nice view of you. Loading headset. So, if you make it tight on your back, yes, I did. Okay. And uh, there is a knob on the top to make it sharper if you need to. Yeah, this one. So if you look to your right, like right here actually, you should be able to see the headset floating in front of you. Um, yeah, yeah, I see uh, the text and, uh, and the beetle. Yeah, <laughs> well, let me give you a controller. So this is your remote. So this is the tools on, on the top that you can switch between like this. A flashlight, laser. Yeah, and this is the tools. Move. Okay. And yeah. on the bottom, there's an area to activate it. For example, if you hold this button, ah, okay. it will give you a little laser. Oh, okay. But yeah, the tracking works works fine. It's cool. And you can use it to point things and people can see what you're talking about. Ah, okay. So yeah, we, we're all seeing the same thing now. Exactly, yeah. Whoever participating in the session, they will see 
thing as it would be physically there. Okay. Yeah. And well, the field of view is actually for, for augmented reality, it's very good. Yeah, let me show you some re real cool thing that will expose the field of view better. So, yeah. Slide your finger up on this area. Ah, okay. Hey, that, that, that is really useful. Yeah. Nice. So I can explore it. So and, and, and move up maybe so it's, so it's closer to you. Like just hold a slide finger up. And you can see how many how many items you can see at the same time. Right. And I can, uh, I can rotate it. Yeah. And, and the color accuracy is very nice actually. Yeah, there is no like even any... Though, even though we are here, in, yeah, it's, it's quite bright here. And I can see the colors very nice. And it has a good fit of view. Yep. Okay. Want, want to take a look at the bigger model? Yes. So let's go to, um, to, to Honda E. Okay. <laughs> So this is the one-to-one -one scale model of a car, and maybe you can see that it's a little, a little transparent because. I'm in the car right now. Are you in the car? Uh, yes. Yes. Because uh, in the yard, it's there is no way to remove light from real world, so it's pretty transparent. So that's why I had this uh, okay, yes. VR shield. Okay. Yeah, okay. And now you can try to lean in and look at the dashboard of a car. Let's look at the fidelity of the texture. That's good. It is. It is high. It is really high uh, resolution. <laughs> This, is, this looks good. It's, it's um, yeah. It's very high fidelity um, VR. Let me show you. What is, what is the resolution of the? Uh, it's 2K per panel. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. And this is going to be the 3D scan of a of a museum in Sweden, and it's a one-to-one -one model of, of actual actual building. And we'll show you a couple other cool tools. See now? Yeah, okay, I'm there now. Yeah. So if, if you go to this tool called teleport okay. and, and we, we press the small button, this will give you a small version of this. Uh, yeah, this, we call it dollhouse. Yes, this is really dollhouse. This, and if you hold this big button, you can choose where you want to teleport in this area. Yeah, I can teleport there. Yeah, just release the button and you will go there. Boom. And, and, and during the uh, operation of this tool, everyone teleports with you. It's like a group teleport. So if you have uh, your group of your suppliers, designers, um, marketing people, you will go all together. Very cool. This is a very nice yeah. Yeah, Thank you. And it's cool that I, that I can simply um, yeah, wear my glasses yeah. in it, right? Yeah. And this is also a good idea. <laughs> Very cool. So, so this is a great solution, really, for for enterprise, for CAD designers Correct. coming together. And uh, yeah, that's not. So, tell us about um, the, the cost factor. How expensive is this for enterprise? Uh, we haven't yet announced okay. pricing yet okay. because we're in, uh, in our next program. Yes. Like last April, we announced our existence. <laughs> okay, I know. Since then, we shipped uh, to a few customers across multiple areas like aerospace, apparel. Yeah. Okay. And, and later this year we expanding the program for more. Okay. okay. So later this year, uh, if companies want to have this, they can get in touch with you. Yeah. On our website there is a form that you can, you can apply on. There. Perfect. So what's the website's name? Campfire3d.com. Campfire what? Campfire3d.com. Campfire3d.com. If you want more information about this device, the Campfire, very nice setup. And yeah, I like the idea that you put out a map here or or this <laughs> cross thing. Just let me show you. The, the photographer is actually known as this. This is the smaller version. If you don't want to put the maps, yeah, on the on the floor, you can. Oh, yeah, okay. So you you set this up, and then the, the models will just uh, float over yeah. over this device. It will serve uh, like a like 3D version of your monitor. It's like right. Like you know that the program will appear above it always. Like Got it. Projector. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Thank you so much for showing yeah. off Campfire. My pleasure. Thank you very much. Yeah. So Campfire, check them out. Uh, they just came out uh, last year, I think, to the public, and now starting their their program. Really exciting. Give it a thumbs up, and yeah, go to campfire3d.com if you want to find out more, and subscribe to the channel if you want to know more about AWV 22. Thank you. Thank you so much.